Hello and welcome to another DIY video with the Northampton Area Public Library. Today we will be making gel air fresheners. Before we get started, if you're interested in more adult programs, we have a virtual essential oils class on Wednesday, June 24th at 7. Learn natural ways to take care of your family and support your immune system. You can also join XYZ Wellness to learn more about getting better sleep on Tuesday, June 30th at 6. Again, this is a virtual program. Sign up for these and more summer programs at www.northamptonapl.org. Okay, so let's get started. For this project, you're gonna need um, some kitchen items. You're gonna need a mixing bowl. You're going to need um, spoons for mixing. You'll need a measuring cup and a teaspoon. Um, so what else you'll need is you need two four ounce uh, mason jars because this project will make two. You need frog lids to be able to uh, be able to smell the fragrance. These can be difficult to find in the store, um, but you can buy them online. Uh, they are available on um, craft websites like Michael's or Joann's, and I found these on Amazon. You're gonna need two packets of gelatin powder, just plain gelatin powder, which I found in the baking aisle. Uh, food coloring, which is optional, if you can have it remain clear um, or you could um, add color to it, that's up to you. And then you're going to need some type of fragrance. Again, that's your choice on what the fragrance is. It's either going to be a fragrance oil or an essential oil. So I decided to use an essential oil, which is Deuterra. Um, and this relates back to the essential oils program that we're having. So if you want to learn other ways that you, get to, you can uh, use essential oils in your life, um, please sign up for our virtual essential oils class on June 24th at 7. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Okay, so first thing first, we're going to need a half a cup of hot water. So what I did was I boiled water and then I just, I let it sit a little bit. So it is still hot, but it's not boiling. And then you're going to put in your two packets of gelatin. Okay, so we're gonna stir until the powder is completely dissolved. So stir that nice, nice and good. You might need a whisk to really get that mixed, um, but that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so you mixed your gelatin and your water. Now we're going to add food coloring. So again, um, you, you get to decide how much food coloring, if you want food coloring at all. Uh, I'm using, I'm uh, using an orange scent. So I'm, I'm hoping for orange here. So we'll see if we can get, get orange. Oh, that's kind of bright. That's actually pretty good for a first try. <laughs> that's very bright. Um, I might add one more, one more little splash of yellow, just to calm that down a smidge. There we go. That's, that's a little better. Again, it's all about preference. If you don't want, if you want to keep it clear, that's absolutely fine. Um, I just kind of like, I think it'll look nice in the jar then. Okay. Next, we're gonna pour half a cup of cold water now into the bowl. Okay, and then we're gonna mix. Mix again. Make sure that all gets mixed, the hot and the cold water. Okay, that's good to go. Now we're gonna add our fragrance. So again, I'm using doTERRA 
wild orange. Um, it called for a teaspoon to, tea, to two teaspoons of fragrance or essential oil. So I did about a teaspoon and a, and a bit. So we're just gonna put that in. And again, we wanna mix that up. Make sure that's uh, that's what we that's what we want. Well, it definitely smells like orange. <laughs> okay. Now that's all we really that's all we need for that. So now we are going to pour it into our two jars evenly. This made a little bit more than two jars, but that's okay. So the rest I'll probably just get rid of. And so we need to let that sit now for one to two hours. And then after it sets, I'm gonna cover it up with the frog lid and the cap and it'll be good to go. All right, so we'll check back in two hours. Okay, so we're back. Uh, you're definitely going to need more than two hours to let this congeal. Um, I would say at least five hours. I actually let this sit overnight just to make sure it was good to go. So while it's setting, you can just put the regular lid on top and uh, let it set that way. So if you're worried about it spilling, but you will need some time for it to set. So don't worry if it doesn't set right away. So. Um, if you can't find frog lids, you could always use the regular lid and punch holes in a type of design. Um, on, I've also seen lids that have a sort of flower design on it. You could use that as well, just as long as it has some type of opening. But since I have the frog lids, I'm going to use them. So all you have to do is you put the lids on top and then you put the cap on to make sure it stays in place. There we go. Okay, and then it's all set to go. So you have a nice little air freshener to use in different rooms in your house. Um, so please make sure you follow us um, on our Facebook page at Northampton APL. And then you can also follow us on our website at www.northamptonapl.org. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. You have a nice day.